What is up guys, this is Captain CW and this is episode 3 of my Contract Wars Tips and Tricks series. And last time I showed you guys the best overall weapon in the game. But of course, the ASVAL Mod 3's premium attributes also comes with a premium price tag. So, um, upon request, a lot of you guys asked me to do the best overall CR weapon in the game. And today I'm going to share my opinion as to what the best CR weapon in the game is. Or basically the best weapon you can get in the game for free. Now, um, you don't have to pay to win in Contract Wars. The thing with Contract Wars, you can, you can dominate with a free weapon. And... In this case, I'm going to be talking about the PDRC Tactical. So, yes, in my opinion, as I said, the PDRC Tactical is the best CR weapon in the game. Now, the standard PDRC still, in my eyes, takes the throne in the best free weapon, but I feel after you test the PDRC, the default PDRC, um, you're rewarded with a much better performing weapon, and I really, really like the, the tactical version of the PDR. So after testing most of the CR weapons, as I said, I concluded that the best overall weapon is the TAS PDR-C, um, the PDR-C Tactical, but why? Well, let me go over how the, how the weapon looks on paper, and then I'll share my opinion as to why it's the best CR weapon. So first of all, the PDR has a price set at 39,000 CR, which is actually quite good price considering what it offers, how it performs, uh, 39,000 CR is really not that much. And to acquire the W task, you must get 35 double kills, which unlocks the preliminary sight and the silencer, of course, which is the uh, which results in a PDRC tactical. Now let's look at some of the weapon stats of the PDRC tactical, and you guys can follow along um, in the stat card to your left. This is kind of my new uh, format uh, for videos, and if you guys like my old, old format more, uh, just let me know in the description down below. Alright, so let's start with accuracy. It's gonna have uh, 80 accuracy, the PDR tactical, um, which feels more like a 90, um, honestly. It doesn't feel like an 80. 80 is quite high anyways, but it, it, the accuracy is one of the best features in my opinion for this weapon. It's gonna have 65 recoil, which is, um, which is good, and that definitely contributes to the accuracy. And I'll be talking about the muzzle flash a little later and what kind of advantages this weapon has. Um, in terms of accuracy so the damage is going to be 21 which is not that bad considering its solid fire rate of 88 which kind of compensates for the um, for the lower damage so the mobility is going to be 67 and of course it's lower down a little after you've tasked it because of the uh, attachments you um, attach to it but of course you can uh, increase the mobility using the skill tree system and the reload speed is going to be 64 which is nothing too special and the penetration is 25 and you can look to your left, there's a damage drop-off chart, and um, yeah, so those are the stats of the weapon in the game, and um, you may be thinking, this doesn't look like a, this doesn't look too special, but some weapons, you, um, it doesn't look that good um, statistically, but they, they feel much better than they are statistically. Well, first of all, I'd like to talk about the advantage of how this weapon is designed, especially regarding accuracy. I really like how the barrel is positioned significantly below the tactical rail where the sights are mounted. Therefore, I, found that, I find that the muzzle flash is never a problem uh, on the standard PDR, and uh, that gives you a great accuracy advantage, as the muzzle flash is never obstructing your view um, when you're aiming down your sight, because that's what matters, because um, hipfire muzzle flash doesn't really matter, honestly. Now, the recoil feels very, very minimal, um, which again contributes to the accuracy, and, but what I mainly like about the weapon and why it stands out for me is is the power it delivers and it's nice mobility that gives you an SMG feel when you're moving around but um, it delivers the power of an assault rifle when you need to get the job done the 21 damage definitely feels more like a 35 combined with the sol solid fire rate of 88 the, I found that the PDRC tactical or even the standard always does the job so that is it for this video and um, that was my opinion on the best CR weapon. If you guys want to see a certain tips and tricks video, what, you got, what do you want to see, just let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it for this video, I will see you guys next time.